Get the sink here, Richard. All right, perfect. Good. Well, I got a chance to peek around down here, and you are in luck. We've got a washer and dryer down here, so it means we've got hot and cold water, which is great. We've got a washing machine standpipe right here. Now, this standpipe comes down here and goes down into our drain. Now, at this point, the water goes down into the drain. From at this point and above, though, this pipe is a vent, and that's a really good thing. We often don't see this in basement applications. What's a vent do? Well, without that vent, this drain would gurgle. So what happens is it breaks the vacuum so that water will go down the drain. So it's a really good thing that it's there. One thing I did notice, this drain is about 26 inches off the ground. Now, I look over here at this set tub. This is what? About 18 inches, okay? Now, if I just cut a fitting like this, mm -hmm just a little bit lower down at 18. Now technically from this point to this point is no longer a vent because there's a drain coming in above it. So what I've got to do is modify all this piping lower. Now just make a mark at 18 off the ground on the pipe. Now I have a couple of fittings I could use here. This is called a double TY and this is called a double Y. Now they both serve the same function. You're going to have the washing machine drain come in from the side and the laundry tray sink come in from this side. This is the drain and this is the vent. They connect into the pipe. Now, someday, any drain can stop up, and you have to think about how to run a snake down that drain. Now, if I ran a snake down this fitting, look at what could happen. It could come right here, and it could push straight through right there, and not go down to clear the stoppage, and could drive you crazy. What I always like to use is this. This is a double Y fit. If a snake came down through the trap, it would come down here. It would have no choice but to go down here and clear the stoppage. And that's why I always prefer a double Y. Makes sense. All right, now we're going to cut the pipe. Now, you can grab that. Now, in order to get our Y fitting to be able to accept the drain from both sides, the washer and the utility sink, I need to add these 45 degree angle fittings to turn it to horizontal. Now, the mark you made right here references the center of the drain coming from our utility sink. Now, I've added that line to this pipe right here. And I've, I've extended that line over here. So we need to line this line with that. And at the bottom is where we cut it. And we have to allow for the pipe to fit inside of that fitting. And that mark would be right there. The PVC saw is made just for this. Just steady pull back and forth. Try and keep it as level as you can, too. Here you go. Here you go. Let the saw do the work. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to get rid of this TY. We're going to connect onto this vent using a coupling. So you can cut any way you want right up in here. And that way, that knife just deburr the inside of the pipe. You want to get rid of all the shavings from the cutting. Good. Now, here's our double Y fitting. Now, I'm going to dry fit everything. But now, I've got a pipe right here that's in the way. So, in order to get around that, I can actually spin this 45. And I can add another one right over here. And that'll allow me to bring my washing machine drain in right here. And on this side, I can put a 90 degree bend. And that's my drain from the utility sink. And now I'm going to measure this piece right here. Good. All right, so here's our piece that's going to go from a double Y. Now, to make up this last connection, I normally just use a coupling, but a coupling has a stop inside. You see? It only allows you to go halfway. So if I had put this coupling on, I wouldn't have enough play to make this connection. So they make a special coupling called a slip coupling, also called a repair coupling. So this can come right down, bring this together, and then bring it right back up again. Now the purpose of dry fitting is to be sure that it all fits together and the angles are correct. So just make a series of witness marks, the reference marks. These lines are going to help us recreate everything perfectly when we glue it all together. All right, first we need to clean it. Take the purple can right there, clean the vertical, stick it up. All right, so now we're ready to glue it. And apply it to the outside of the pipe and the inside of the fitting. Push it down. Push it down all the way. Hold it for a four count. Yeah, that should do it. Good. All right. Well, our waste event is pretty much done. Here's our washing machine standpipe coming right down into the double Y and down the drain. Here's our drain from the utility sink going into the same double Y, and we've connected back into our vent. But before we put that utility sink into place, I really want to think about doing the supply of water, too. Okay, so right above here, we've got a hot and a cold supply lines. So shut off valve for the hot, then I'm going to turn it off. It looks like there's a ball valve right above your head, so turn that 90 degrees. Okay. All right, good. So now I want to make sure there's no water in the pipe. I'm going to break these connections. All right. 
grab that bucket, Matt, would you? Okay. Right, under here. See if there's any water. Good. All right, we'll keep the bucket there because I might get a little bit of water when I cut the pipes. Okay. Matt, I want to move this washing machine valve over here. So why don't you take the screwdriver, undo these two large screws, so we get the ones behind. Let's pull the valve straight off, okay? Is that Phillips screws? Yep. So now with the water out of the pipe, I can unsolder these connections. All right, Matt, we have unsoldered those two elbows and replaced them with T's. These are all cleaned and fluxed. And here's our hot and cold going down to our utility sink. Now this is your old washing machine valve. This has a lever that turns on and off so you don't have pressure on the hoses when you're not using them. This is pretty old, so while I'm here, I'm going to replace that for you. I'm ready to solder this washing machine valve, but before I do, I want to protect these gaskets right here. So I'm going to remove them and then solder it. the sink, Richard. All right, great. Now we've already attached our faucet. This faucet actually has a pull-out hand spray. You can see the hose right here. When you flip it back here, you can see there's a counterweight to keep that hand spray inside the spout. We've got a hot and cold lab supplies already attached. And underneath, we've already mounted our trap. And here's our last piece of PVC pipe. Now over here, we've started in our hot and cold shutoff valve, and we're ready to make our final PVC connection. So why don't you bring the sink in? All right. Little tight squeeze back here, making these final connections. All right, time to clean our last connection, both the pipe and inside the fitting. All right, final glue connection. All right, just snug up those washing machine hoses onto the washing machine valve. Good. All right, and with that washing machine valve off, I'm now going to turn on the hot water line. All right, Matt, why don't you reach up and turn on the cold? All right, good. That's on. Let me put on the washing machine valve. All right, you do the honors, Matt. All right, let's test this thing out. All right, look at that. You sound surprised. Ah, oh, I'm not surprised at all, Richard. I'm going to clean up, though. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. <laughs>